In contemplation of understanding the interpretive communities, first we need to know about reader response theory. Let us perceive a quick outline of this theory. Reader response criticism allows readers to interpret the text in various ways by bringing in personality traits, memories of the past and present experiences to the text. Officially, reader response theory got going in the late 1960s, particularly in the US and Germany, in the works by a group of critics including Stanley Fish, Wolfgang Eiser, Norman and Holland, Hans Robert Joss and others. School of literary theory that focuses on the reader and their experience of a literary work in contrast with other schools and theories that focus attention primarily on the author or the content and form. Reader response theory recognizes the reader as an active agent who imparts real existence to the work and completes its meaning through interpretation. It also argues that literature should be viewed as a performing art in which reader creates their own possibly unique text related performance. It stands in total opposition to the theories of formalism and new criticism. Stanley Eugene Fish, born on April 19, 1938, is an American literary theorist, legal scholar, author, and public intellectual who is best known for interpretive communities and offshoot of reader response criticism. His major works include Surprised by Sin, The Reader in Paradise Lost. Fish's effective stylistics, which stresses the reader's response to a literary text, departed from the formalism of the new critics. In his essay, Interpreting the Verorium, 1967, introduced his concept of interpretive communities, a concept explored more fully in his books, Is There a Text in This Class, where he addresses the important question of the role of institutions and in particular the literary institution in the construction of meaning. According to Fish, the competent reader does not stay away from the intentions of the author even while structuring the text through his own interpretation. And this is because the author and the intended reader of a text belong to the same interpretive community, which means they share the same literary competence and they share the same cultural assumptions and expectations. Fish examines the relation between a text and reader, arguing against the formalist belief that the text alone is the basic, knowable, neutral, and unchanging component of literary experience. Moving on to the main ideas of this essay. In Fisher's view, it's the reader who holds the main role of shaping texts and producing meaning of a literary text. The same reader can interpret different texts differently and different readers may interpret the same text in a similar way. So he assumes that readers use interpretive strategies that enable them to interpret the text and produce meaning. Fish claims that we as individuals interpret texts because each of us is a part of an interpretive community that gives us a particular way of reading a text. Fish also argues that interpretations or assumptions are not found within a text themselves. He believes that meanings are not extracted but made, and made not by encoded forms but by interpretive strategies that calls forms into being. According to him, it is the readers who determine the shape of a text, its form and its content by using their individual interpretive communities and the text contain nothing in itself. So this is how Fish can claim that readers write text. Just like a text, our perception constantly changing, the interpretive community is not stable. Fish argues that the ability to interpret is not acquired, it's something innate and it's being a part of human. The only thing that can be learned are the ways of interpreting. When the interpretive strategies change, it will result in the change of a text, not because it's being read differently, but because it's being written differently. As we know, readers have some strategy in their mind and they use them to interact with the text. But even the authoring of the text happen by using interpretive strategies. The author must know how the reader will understand the words 
or how it would be conveyed to the reader interpretive communities are groups of readers who have the same strategies for interpreting text so they are a part of a single interpretive community two different interpretations like feminism and post colonialism create two different interpretive communities so there is an opportunity of multiple reincarnation to the text through these different interpretive views we may not know if anyone is a member of our interpretation community this is because we need to explain the interactions that indicate whether we are a part of a community with the same interpretation whose limits are not known by us the next is the comparison of fish and isa even though they belong to the same critical movement contemporary stanley fish and ulfang isa offer different views on the reader response theory the reader response theory falls under the broader spectrum of critical theory called psychoanalytic theory that centers around the mind instinct and perception of the readers isa could be categorized into the uniformis and his theory under transactional reader response theory uniformists such as isa consider the reader's role to be an active in the perception of the text he states that there are two poles the artistic pole that is the author's intention and the aesthetic pole interpretation of the reader and the perception lies not in one of the polarities but somewhere in between isa's concept differ from fish's as the former gives the minute portion of the aesthetic meaning to the authorial intent while fish denies the author's intent being the meaning of the text isa says that individual perception constitutes the meaning isa's concept is a loop that is enhanced each time the interpretation is achieved in a process it is not unidirectional but a loop that finds significance somewhere in the middle fish falls under the category of individualist and his theory under social reader response theory which is in itself an extension of his work it states that even an individual interpretation results from a particular interpreting community or rather a school of thought that authorizes the reader to perceive in a specific manner he focuses entirely on the reader and the particular process of analyzing a text and not the content of the text the reader who interprets using similar strategies belong to an interpretive community the skill of interpretation is innate and only the way of interpretation learned that would categorize the reader into a common school of thought and despite these contrasts these critics largely are similar since they believe that the meaning of the text is derived by the interpretation of the reader and the text cannot be independent of the reader's perception they agree that the readers contribute to the text through analysis as isa claims that interpretation as a conversation between the reader and the text and fish states that each of us would be reading the poem he or she made through the process of interpretation let's now see the reader response theory in contrast with the interpretive communities and in this fish is a part of reader response movement this movement adopts the idea that readers experience can affect the understanding of a text according to fish the formal properties of literary works exist only as they are activated by such communities of readers the interpretive acts are the source of forms rather than the other way around in short the author explains the two ways of reading number 1 the same reader will perform differently when reading two different texts number 2 two different readers will perform the similarly when reading the same text from this both the stability of interpretation among readers and the variety of interpretation in the career of a single reader would seem to argue for the existence of something independent in literary interpretation it is the reader not the text which is more important component there are no text unless there is a reader and the reader is the only one who can say what next is the reader creates a text as much as the author does 
In this way, reader response theory recognizes the reader as an active agent who impart real existence to the work and completes its meaning through interpretation. The great streams of the reader response theory propounded the following: the subjective approach, the objective approach. Stanley Fish adopted the middle path and he upheld the utility of both subjective and objective approaches to the text. Objectivity issues from the sharing of subjectivity of different readers. In this way, objectivity seems to be an illusion and subjectivity emerges as truth. Although some might object that Stanley Fish's idea of interpretive communities is too radical to be applied in the real world, it is still important to consider his implications in the realm of literary interpretation. Fish's essay is significant because it criticizes other literary theories tendency to place meaning within the author's intention rather than what the text means to its audience. If one were to disregard the more far-reaching parts of his claims, their perceptions about the world would still govern the way they read any piece of writing.